All right, making some real progress. These two barrels and those two barrels, they are actually, were never hooked up to the original system. Uh, I got the holes drilled in them today. Uh, little uh, ones for inlet, the tiny ones for the air, and the bigger ones for the drain. They also have holes in the bottom because this is actually the top of a barrel. These are cut in half, so I use the bottoms and tops. I've got plugs to plug those holes. I also silicone them. So I've still got to clean them, silicone them, hook up the plumbing. Then these four will be on the system. All the other blue barrels are actually connected together. Each one kind of drains down into the one below it till it gets to the bottom and all the bottom barrels drain into a two inch PVC pipe, which wraps around the room, drains into this sump here. Uh, which is connected to this here, which then it pumps out back over. This little tower here is not hooked up yet. That was going to be like a big trickle tower. The top section is going to probably stay as um, trickle towers that'll hold. I can't remember how much media, but that top section of three barrels is going to drain down into, there's going to be two algae scrubbers instead of these two bottom towers. Uh, these, this bottom row of barrels, these uh, four here, I drilled and I'm filling with water now. Let me shut that off. Those two were from the original uh, Big Blue 1 or BB1, the original test system that was over in the welding shop. Those have just kind of been, you know, they're not hooked up to anything now. They've just kind of been here and had water in it and different things. These four here are new. Basically, these six barrels are going to drain down into that bottom sump and then they'll be filled. Instead of having blue barrel racks, this is going to be some about maybe seven, six, seven inch tall troughs. So they're going to be two foot by eight foot by seven inches tall. There'll probably be four or five of them. I can fit four and then still have one all the way at the top five if I want it. Hopefully those will be acrylic acrylic troughs. I thought about making them out of wood, but I really would just rather someone else make them out of acrylic. And this leaves this section. It's a four foot section. That's going to be, I don't know what, barrels or maybe uh, shorter troughs. So lots going on, lots of expansion. Um, this is kind of the blue barrel system. We've got some microfauna and shrimp tanks. Those are just water storage up there to bring water up to temperature. And uh, shrimp and scud and microfauna tanks, some breeding tanks. Going to move these down and put a 75 there to kind of make a little display tank out of. And when we go over here, these were some newly set up tanks that are just microfauna or shrimp tanks, scud tanks. Probably put some on the bottom as well. This white shelf that's full of junk is gonna go. It'll be a beige or tan shelf and probably be a continuation of glass aquariums. Those are some jars just for fun. Those uh, top, let's go up here. These, uh, these were some experiments where I was growing some pothos. This is hooked up to the the barrel system. This white PVC is coming from that barrel sump. Let's see. Can you see it runs along in T's? There's a valve to each barrel. So each barrel is filling and draining into the barrel below it. Let's spin around over here. These were uh, some pothos just uh, growing in the system. I was experimenting with uh, growing plants out of the barrels and uh, these were somewhere else. These here are um, little uh, net pots full of seashells, crush crushed seashells, and also little seed pods. And uh, these little uh, trays were full of scuds. so. Put the 
put the little basket in here and the scuds and microfauna kind of colonize it and grow in it. And a couple weeks after that, I can take those baskets out and move them to other tanks or uh, wherever I need them. So jars, I love jars. I love the little uh, creatures. So little microfauna and shrimp and scuds and all that jazz. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.